are toys. Sometimes we women, we just don't get it, do we? Why are they so into it? We'll get to that just in a bit. Plus, one of the hottest parties of the year. What's that all about? Stay tuned to Bella to find out. And today we're talking about toys and collectibles. Why do they do it? I really can't wait to find out. I've got four very dapper gentlemen sitting in front of me. But before that, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I don't know about you, but I, I don't know. I can't seem to understand a man's hobby. Um, you know, when it comes to collecting stuff, whether it's or um, toys or Coca-Cola bottles or, or maybe girls. Hmm, I don't know about that, but I'm, I'm willing to, to pick their brains today. So I'd like to say a very good morning um, to Adrian Chan, who is a bear brick collector. Uh, we've got Mohammad Petra, who is a toy collector. We've got Azrul Azam, also a toy collector, and Edward Wong, who's a cook collector. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? Good. What did you have for breakfast? Yeah. Banana. <laughs> so healthy. <laughs> oh, yeah. No nasi lama and like mee rebus and stuff. Yeah. Uh, for life show, I think. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you guys nervous and butterflies in the stomach? Is that why you didn't eat breakfast? Uh, yeah, quite. Yeah, more or less. More or less. That's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, um, very generally, um, we're talking about men and, and their hobbies and, and especially collecting things. Why do you think they do it, first and foremost? Anyone? I think it is, it is important uh, to have hobbies or mm -hmm. collecting items. Uh, I mean, activities to enjoy. Okay. To make us uh, feel relaxed. Um, or feel we can also can uh, release our stress. That's oh, really? Why, uh, yeah, that's why stress we release, uh, relief. Stress. What kind of stress? Uh, work stress. Well, normally it's work stress. Okay. So like, we want to get away from the office uh, stress. That's why we start uh, to collect all these items. Right, right. Adrian, yeah, what about you? I agree with what you said also. I mean, it's like um, your hobby. Then uh, whenever it's just, I mean, like uh, uh, Ladies, okay, you all like about I men, the bags, everything, the shoes, everything. Oh, you, I knew you were going to, I knew one of them was going to get into that, us so collecting we, bags uh, and shoes. Guy also will have the But at least we can wear home. that. You all put at home uh, only. Actually, guy will quite, I mean, uh, don't really show it off. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so guy will actually collect it, and then it's, it's quite true. I mean, whenever you look at it, um, you will feel quite uh, happy, mm -hmm. or you really so stressed. For me, it's definitely, it's like, uh, I usually put on my desk, then when I look at it, it's like, it's like, it release everything. Hang on, I just want to ask you, are you married? Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, sorry, I'm missing you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, who's married here? Who has, who has, who's in a relationship? Anyone here? I'm married. I'm father of three. Wow. And you've got master to go and collect things also. Yeah. No, the reason why I ask that is because you said that, you know, um, having your collection and you look that, you look at it and it relieves your stress. Uh, wouldn't having a partner or something deviate from that? Maybe if you have a picture of a girlfriend or something like that? It's, uh, I mean, it's different. I mean, okay. partner is the partner, then it's just a hobby. I'm just asking, I'm just curious. <laughs> As I said, I'm just picking your brains here, so I'm just very curious. Um, what about you? Um, what does what your uh, collection mean to you? Uh, I think it's pretty much, uh, it means uh, as equivalent to how uh, uh, myself, I adore toys as much as women will adore their Louis Vuitton bags. Okay. okay. Pretty much equivalent to that. And what uh, 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 what I tend to do nowadays is like I pull my, my partner into uh, venturing towards toy collections as well. Wow, yeah. you have managed to enroll into your vision. Yes. 
How amazing is that? How did you manage to do that? Um, by trying to influence her to collect uh, what uh, she would find interesting to her. To, to her. So, so, now, so you collect toys? Correct. So what's what's the female equivalent? Uh, she's now collecting Legos. Oh, the, yeah, the mini figures Legos. She actually had her on the show as well. <laughs> anyway, and, and what about you? You love Coca-Cola. Um, and, and, you know, what does that do for you? Is it, how, how did that begin? Uh, begin uh, when I was uh, going to Singapore at the time, um, I moved my friend's house to visit him. Okay. Then he showed me some collection. He opened his uh, room, the cupboard, then I saw, wow, a lot of cans and bottles. Then I really shocked. Then from the start, then I start collect my pets. Don't go anywhere. We'll have Adrian and Edward talk more in detail about their collection. And we'll also be showing some of their collection. They've got cola. So you, hello, you started this 15 years ago. Yeah. What what spurred it on? I mean, I remember you said you went to your friend's house and you, you, you opened the cupboard and, and then you saw it. But why Coca-Cola? Because Coca-Cola always come up, I uh, mean, the new design and the design really nice. I also myself so a designer, so when I see it, wow, well, very colorful. So I start collecting them. Right. You you do you like drinking Coca-Cola? Uh, not because my wife not allowed me to drink. Too Why? Much. Yeah? Because uh, you very sweet. <laughs> you become very fat. Oh, so <laughs> actually you love that. drinking Coca-Cola, but if yeah. since you're not allowed to drink mm. it, you just collect it. Yeah, exactly. So one day if you're just like, really angry, you just open all and drink. Mm, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <laughs> joking. <laughs> so so tell us about, about the collection. What, what was the first Coca-Cola bottle you ever collected? Uh, my first Coca-Cola bottle I collect is uh, this one. It's a Diana. Ah. Uh, bottle. This one is uh, the Diana Wedding. In, in oh, from 1981. Where did yeah, you get that from? Uh, this one I buy it from eBay. Oh wow! Yeah, and how yeah. much did you buy it for? Can uh, you remember? That time I buy it is 200. Uh, now I think it's around 300 around that. Oh, because okay. Every, every year the price is raised up, so I don't know now's the price. But mm. mostly it's around that price. Okay, okay. And tell us a little bit more. I mean, it's so fascinating and to see so many different kinds and shapes of. Coca-Cola, you know, you just never actually okay. see it in real life, right? Okay. Last year is uh, 125 years for Coca-Cola, so they come out a lot of things. And this one is uh, come out from Malaysia. Okay. And this one uh, is not uh, mean by in store. It's winning when you uh, apply the contest. So uh, around around 300, mm. 400 they're giving. Okay. So, this so, it, so you you entered a competition, okay, competition and and, and, I win it. and yeah, you won it. Yeah. Oh, cool! And this looks like something I. It's so it's, uh, this, this is one, very fashionable. Yeah, can I one? touch it? Yeah, can can can. Oh, I like this one. And this one. Uh, very cool. This aluminum bottle normally mature any feature in Europe. Okay. So, in Asia, you cannot buy it or get it. So normally, you when you buy it, when you go overseas, then you can buy it. Okay, so when, where did you get this one from? Uh, also from eBay. Wow, uh, so everything you buy from eBay? Uh, no, some so of that, you? No, some, some of that I trade from overseas with overseas friends, okay. from Facebook. Oh, so yeah. you have a trading thing. Yeah, so the, trading. Ha, are there a lot of Coca-Cola bottle uh, collectors around the world? Yeah, around the world, got a lot. And, and do yeah. you have like a community? Is there like yeah. a forum that you all go to yeah. and just talk Coca-Cola every day? Yeah, in Facebook. We got uh, Coca-Cola, uh, Malaysia Coca-Cola collectors. Wow, so, I didn't yeah. even know that. So, uh, so super we, cool. every year we got a uh, uh, meeting and cook trading. And this year is around November, mm -hmm. November 10th. We we're having in uh, Munkera. So what happens at a Coca-Cola meet up? Uh, we meet up, we chat about, talk, talk, talk about uh, Cokes, cans mm -hmm. and trading and what is the special about the Cokes and what is the value then. Sometimes okay. we, sometimes we got go uh, overseas then meet them. Then okay. Sometimes they come to, to Malaysia uh -huh. so we can meet up then we share about Coca-Cola. Wow, okay. Now, I saw something that was on screen just, uh, that really caught my eye. It has your surname yeah, on it. Right. How, yeah. did, how did you manage to get yeah. this done, yeah, Mr. This Wong? One, yeah, this one is from uh, Australia. It's my, one of my friends. At the time, they manufactured uh, special Coke cans in uh, your name, in, made in, in the name there. Very cool. So I asked cool. them to get one for me. Okay, and, and did it cost a lot of money? Uh, this is free for me. It gave me as a gift. Wow. And we also uh, got a special tips for you guys if you want to collect cans. You know, some of them we didn't open 
the tape up. We mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. turn this one, then tape a uh, hole there. Then we shake it up. Then the water will come out, splash out. Oh, so yeah. you you don't you don't keep it in. So that's no, why your yeah. cans are all empty, empty. Although you didn't open to drink it. Yeah. Ah, I understand. Okay, with the with the with the whole entire collection, which is your absolute favorite? Do you have one, mm. or does it change over yeah. time? This one. What's that? This one uh, is the Malaysia. Uh, uh, meeting oh, don't pull. I can't quite just look at it. Okay, you so, pull. Okay, and push your camera. Okay. And okay. Me, and this one, they come out very few only. So it's very rare. And I get it from uh, a salesman there. Mm -hmm. He gave me this. So this is my favorite. Okay. So a lot and of it, um, they, they, have you spent over 15 years? Have you spent a lot of money on this already? Mm, yeah. Like oh. around how much? I asked the I asked the agent earlier, but what about you, where Coca Cola is concerned? I mean, it doesn't it doesn't seem as expensive as other toy you know collectibles, but is it? Yeah, you can, uh, can buy. What's the most expensive one here? The most expensive one is this one. Oh, that's the one. This one. So it wasn't given one. to you, like you had no. to buy it. How much was that? Uh, last time it's one hundred fifty. Now it's five hundred. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you you keep it at home, like in a yeah, cabinet? cabinet? Yeah, it's a cabinet. So I, now my, my room has not, got no space, so I always put it in a phone box. So I just put it in a phone box, then one by one. Right, so, right. How big is your entire collection? Uh, I mean five, five or six cabinets. Five or six cabinets? Do you have like a whole room dedicated to Coca-Cola? Uh, no. <laughs> so because... No space, so I put inside the box. And your your wife is is supportive of you. Uh, yeah. Does she so complain the, and say why do you have to buy some uh, more? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> first, at uh, first she's complaining. Now she's okay already. Have you have so you do you have like some specially made for her or anything like that? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so you're leaving the wife out of Coca Cola. Um, I'm curious. What what's this one? Uh, this is uh, this is a Lego like Lego. This is a calendar Lego. Okay. Then every month you can turn it up, turn the other side. Then you can see the month. I see. I see. Where'd you get that one from? Uh, this is from Taiwan. My friend from Taiwan. Mm. So it's great that you have and you have friends as well who yeah. enjoy the same um, collectibles as yeah. you do. Oh, okay. This is the Olympics Olympic, one. Yeah. This is uh, this year Olympic, and this mm. one is really rare. This one. Uh, only when they win the gold medal mm -hmm. in that day, then they sell this bottle. Okay, so they're, they're all empty. So you yeah. basically empty it out. Yeah, it what, what happens if you if you actually I'm curious. What happens if you keep Coca Cola for too long? Does oh. it go bad? Does it go off? Uh, I'm not will, sure. If for cans, they will burst out or leaking out automatically from the bottle. For aluminium bottle, it won't leak or burst. Mm. Because the empty is because my friend sent from overseas to me, so he want to save the cost. So it won't be too heavy. Too heavy yeah. Ah, okay. The 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 original Coca Cola bottles, the the glass ones, the really old school ones. Do you have that? Yeah, this one. This one is the old school. But this. You is mean these the, are like super old school? Uh, this is the last is, time when we were kids and in coffee uh, shop would no, buy. No, I That's mean, longer, no? Yeah, but this this one is the first Coca Cola bottle. The in first USA, ever yeah. Coca Cola bottle, this, first this design. Shape, yeah, first okay, design. I'm very scared. I'll, I'll drop your stuff. Okay. Um, cool. So, and you've got other. You've, I mean, you've got obviously you've got the T-shirt, you've got the caps, and 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 what? No, what's next for you? Are you going to be? Um, are you going to find? Is there anything? Is there anything in the world, Coca Cola, that you really want to get your hands on? Mm, I want to go to the USA. And to then the, to visit the museum. Oh, so there's uh, a Coca Cola museum in yeah, the USA. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Actually, in overseas they got few, but Malaysia still don't have. In Thailand they have, Taiwan have. Okay. I've been visit them also, but in Malaysia still. Fantastic. Well, thank you, thank you yeah. very, very much, and thank you. Um, you know, it's it's really interesting. I've I've learned so many.